Hey everybody, Frogman405 here. Just got this in the mail and I'm hoping it's for my Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 9mm. And it is. I've been waiting for this. This is my Hogue, um, you know, grip, rubber grip. Uh, in flat, dark earth. My favorite color. Alright, let's get started. This will fit the uh, M&P Shield the 9mm and the 40 version. I've got the 9mm right here. Okay, let's get started. You're probably wondering why this bottle of Windex is here. Well, it's going to be one of the uh, the hacks I have for putting the, the whole grip on. Because these are, are pretty tight. I put a few of these on, you know, other pistols. And it can be... Um, hard to get on. So first thing we want to do is kind of rub it, stretch it, warm it up as best we can so it's more stretchy. And these things, they put one of them rubber galoshes over your boots when you're a kid. All right. And then we take a little bit of Windex. How about if I turn it on, huh? Put a little bit over on the grip for a little lubrication. So what happens, this will evaporate sooner or later. And we need a rag of some sort. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to fit it from the back. And here you have the beaver tail. You want to get it on as deep as you can. Okay, now, right here is going to be the tough part. I've had to use uh, screwdrivers in the past. I don't have one with me now, but I've got strong fingers, so <laughs> we'll see if that works. Uh, come on, baby. I want to make this happen. It's good that it's nice and tight like this because that means it's going to stay on no matter what you're doing on the range or out in the field, so you're going to have a nice, firm, snug grip. I got most of it on right now, but as you see just a little bit is still um, not on there. So what you do is you're going to take the rag that will give me better grip on it, and I'm just going to manipulate it, knead it, twist it, do whatever you got to do. Look at that. Almost there. I don't know if you can see. Almost on. I want to make sure that it's lined up, it's even on both sides, it's not twisted to one side. See the beaver tail is a little off in the back. So just take my grip, twist it a little bit, twist the front, push it on. Wow, that looks good. That's pretty, pretty square. I don't know if you can see that. It's nice and even all the way around. It's all the way on the mag weld. It's not covered at all. And we'll try to fit with the magazine. This is the eight round magazine. We can tell because it has this plastic sleeve. Fits perfect. Oh, and that is very comfortable in my hand. I like that. I was going to get the talon grips for this, but I like the Hogue on my other weapons I have, and I wanted to see how it fit on this, and it really fits good. I'm really happy with this product. Now this, once the Windex dries, it's going to be on here as if it was made that way. It's going to be tight. It's not going to move. It's going to be very comfortable. So once again... Who does it? It's a really nice product. It cost me $13.97 on Amazon. Um, I got it within two days, I think, three days. So I'm very happy, very happy. And I really like the way it fits. I'm going to check. I've got my CYA in the waistband holster. Let's check if there's any problems with it. No. Nope. Doesn't interfere at all anywhere on the holster. So that will be... Another plus. All right, everybody. I appreciate any comments, questions, and 
Please like, share, and press the subscribe button. Take care. Out.